Charlie and George each hurt their leg on the same day. Both had a serious limp. Their legs were swollen. They could not walk upstairs. They could not do what they normally did. Charlie got a doctor appointment the next day and an x-ray taken while in the office. Received a brace which kept his legs safe from further damage, was also given an injection and a few pills to help alleviate the pain and to treat the inflammation in his leg. George had to wait three days before he got an appointment with his primary care physician. His primary care physician then referred George to an orthopedist. Had to wait two weeks before he could get an appointment with the orthopedist. The orthopedist examined George's leg and then said he needed to have an MRI. It took four days before the MRI could be scheduled. Five days after the MRI, George returned to the orthopedist, who told him he had a very serious fracture. George was then fitted with a cast, which he had to wear for four weeks. After the cast was removed, George went to physical therapy for three weeks. Charlie was feeling a lot better in two weeks. George was not any better until two and a half months had gone by. Why the difference in medical care for Charlie and for George? Charlie is a golden retriever and went to his veterinarian. George is a senior citizen, went to his primary care physician, went to the orthopedist, and then went to a physical therapist. I'm thinking very seriously about making an appointment with my cat's veterinarian. Not for socks, my cat, but for me. Now I joke and I exaggerate about our American healthcare system. I do appreciate and I care much and am thankful for all the treatment and help I get from all of my doctors. And it seems like the list gets longer the older I get. I do honestly believe where the primary medical care treatment protocol is simply this, referral. You and I no longer just go to our doctor and receive treatment and a cure for whatever our medical situation may be. We are referred and referred and referred. When you and I pray, we do not get a referral. We have a direct line to our God. In Psalm 17, the psalmist says, I call on you, my God, for you will answer me. Turn your ear to me and hear my prayer. Jesus says in Matthew 28, I am with you always to the very end of the age. And at the crucifixion, in Luke chapter 23, Jesus said to the thief beside him on the cross, I tell you truly, Today you will be with me in paradise. That's today, no referral. We do not get a referral when we talk to Jesus Christ. We don't need a referral to pray, to talk to God. You and I have a direct line. So let's pray. Let's pray for ourselves. pray for our family, pray for our church. Pray for our country. Let's just keep praying.